Hey everyone, it is midway through 2019 and so now it's a perfect time to look back at the last six months and figure out what is the health of Portland's real estate market. I'm Alex Roy, your trusted John L. Scott agent in Eastside Portland working hard for your success and today I'm going to take a little deep dive and get hyper local by looking at a few select neighborhoods in Portland and they're going to help us figure out what's happening with Portland's real estate market. Now what we'll look at first is a uh, number called Months Inventory. I know uh, for those of you that have been following my YouTube channel or Facebook, you know what Months Inventory is, but for the rest of you, it is a number measured in time in number of months. And it's asking the question, if all of a sudden no new homes came on the market and we're stuck with just our existing inventory, how long would it take to sell off all of those homes actively for sale based on the buyer activity in the previous month? That gives us a number in months months inventory. If you're at six months inventory, four to six, neutral market, not a buyer or seller market. If you're at like 12 months inventory and stuff's hanging around a long time, totally a buyer's market. Sellers are desperate, homes are hanging around for a long time. And if you're down on the lower end, it's a seller's market. Homes are moving very fast, buyers are having to compete. So where are we at? Let's start with Cully neighborhood up here in Northeast Portland. Take a look there, months inventory. Kapow, 0.9 months inventory. Up there in Cully, uh, we saw, you know, in the last three months, just the previous quarter, 44 new homes for sale, homes uh, put on the market, um, and then how many sold? 36, and here you can see we got some numbers given a deep dive into that area, and so almost as many homes that were listed ended up getting sold. That's all up over the previous three months, the January, February, March period of 2019. And an important number to see in all of this, what was the average sold price for homes sold in that area? It was 386,000. Some really good affordable homes up in that Cully neighborhood, a great place to be looking if you're looking for a starter home. All right, let's look at our next area, and that is the Sunnyside Richmond area there, hugging 39th Ave, Cesar Chavez Boulevard, right there south of Laurelhurst Park. What was its month's inventory? Kapow, 1.5. Still, definitely in a seller's market. Homes are moving. They, in the last three months, had 72 new listings and 41 of those uh, went sold, quite a few went pending as well, and their average uh, home sales price, 585000 So substantially more than what we're seeing up in Cully. Homes are more expensive, but that is a great move up area that if you're selling that starter home and looking to transition to something a little bit bigger, great area for that. That is a price point that works for a lot that are uh, sizing up. Now let's take a look down in the Selwood, Brooklyn area, right in here. What was their month's inventory? 1.6. Boom. There you go. Almost the exact same as the Sunnyside, Richmond area. And their numbers, you know, equally, almost the exact same. These numbers, uh, these areas were so similar. We had 79 new listings in the last three months. And that was up over the spring, seeing that good, healthy spring growth. 45 were sold and the average home sales price actually a little bit lower than that area five hundred and thirty thousand dollars highest was up in the million they got million dollar homes in the area lowest was two hundred and sixty thousand perhaps a condo or a land sale in that area and now let's look out to this area right here powellhurst gilbert east of the 205 what was that that was bam 1.0 Definitely a seller's market out there. Homes are moving very quickly. In this whole area, they had 89 new homes uh, or new listings in the last three months. 53 were sold. That was up 52% over the last uh, previous th uh, three months, the previous quarter in January, February, March. So really seen a great surge there as we uh, rolled through the spring. And their average home sales price out in this area, 299000 uh, 300 and some change. And so once again, just like Cully, great area to be exploring if you're a first time home buyer. There are some fantastic little pockets out there, ranches, small bungalows, great homes uh, to be starting on. So that's getting hyper local. If you want 
data like this for your particular area of town, it couldn't be easier. First of all, you can just text, email me, or give me a call. Just say, hey, Alex, can you, uh, you know, send me numbers for whatever area it is, the uh, Laurelhurst uh, neighborhood, something up in North Portland. You want something for Woodlawn, I'll send you numbers for Woodlawn, and we can get that on a monthly email, perfectly specific to what you're looking at. Keep an eye on the market. Keep an eye on when your neighbor's going to be selling their house. Keep an eye on what's coming on the market right down the street from you. Couldn't be easier. Just text call, or email me. And certainly, check out my website for all the listings in these different neighborhoods. Just go to alexroyrealty.com and you are going to find them all right there underneath the neighborhood tab. I'm Alex Roy, trusted realtor in Eastside Portland, working hard for your success.